Oh my gosh, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Gemcraft, Frostborn Wrath just dropped like, I don't know, 20 minutes ago. Got out of my shower. I'm like looking at stuff because the developer said it might not be ready in time, but it is here. I got an announcement on my phone, download, bought it, downloaded it immediately uh, as soon as it released. I'm sorry if my voice is a little bit loud. I'm, I'm excited. Can you tell? Can you tell that I'm excited? No, probably not. Uh, in any case, I'm going to get into this. This is very much like that uh, other Gemcraft game that I played uh, quite some time ago. I think this past summer. And uh, I loved it. I, that game I have played to completion multiple times. Um, I'm probably not completion completion. I haven't gone like the hardest difficulty on all the levels. But I'm saying like I've, I've gone through the story. I did the Iron Wizard mode. You guys probably don't even know what that means, but I'm just going to start a new game. There's a lot of new mechanics in this game, from what I understand. From reading the uh, developer's updates to reading, you know, just some other things about the game. I'm really excited. Now, the one thing that I have noticed in all of the posts and stuff is that this is so much higher of a resolution than the last game was. The last game looked good at 720p. This game is going to look good at 1080p. 1440p. I'm really excited. Also, our first gem is armor tearing? That's a small ass area for gems. I mean, like, I see what they're doing. Oh, man. Yo, this whole entire layout on the right-hand side is whack. What is this? Hold on. Can I click the plus minus buttons? Oh, I see. You can scroll. So, this is numpad now. Oh, I see. There are going to be a lot of macros for this. I get the feeling. <laughs> I mean, it's still... Yeah, I can still activate things with the regular keys. So, G and B for uh, fusion or combine and uh, throw. Wait, wait. Did this just level up? I just saw like a little... Damage increases at 56 hits. Yo, what? I gotta watch this. So is everything now a bloodbound gem? I am so confused, but yet at the same time, I'm so excited. Okay, dichromatic. Also, I love that he did like a pixel style for the uh, the achievements. I think that was really smart of him. Him, her, I don't know. I thought it was a him. I thought his name was Peter. I'm sorry if I'm getting your name wrong. We'll go through the, out the rest of this level. Oh, uh, man, we need some backup. Backup. Oh, no, oh, we got one. We can do one. So let's do you. Kind of forgetting that, you know, I suck <laughs> right now. All right, calling in the gem bomb. So glad it reaches both of them. I wasn't sure if it would. Man, level one is hard now. What is this? Okay, I can already build walls. I don't think I want to, I don't think I want to build walls, but I, I can. So are they encouraging that we level up our gems the first level? Because I think the first level in Chasing Shadows, you didn't even have to do anything. Like, you just put your gems down and that's it. Like, you just kind of, you know, go about your business, whatever. Clean orb. <laughs> that's funny. I like that achievement. Yeah, look, they're pixel style. But then he wrote, I guess it was a script or something that converted them up. So they look like almost little gems, or like it looks like a uh, kind of mosaic looking thing. It's really cool. Okay. On to field two. Wait, does they double you two? Yo! I forgot that they're diamonds. They're diamonds. Okay. First of all, I'm going to turn the sound down just ever so slightly. Like just... Okay. Okay. Okay, there we go. Done. Okay, W2. Yo, I'm, I'm so excited. I'm like buzzing with excitement right now. 
I know you guys probably don't care at all, but I care. And that's what matters. Okay, so we start with a grade one green. We'll throw that one up there, and then let's throw another one down Har. Not, I don't know how I feel about this slider yet. I'm glad that you can use the mouse wheel because that would suck if you couldn't. Like, I'm being completely honest. That would definitely suck if you couldn't use the mouse wheel for that. Also, they seem to regen a lot faster. Oh, I... Oh, man, the controls are up here. They only have 1 and 3x. That's kind of funny. Um, let's throw that down there. Just as kind of a catch-all. The poison should work its magic here, um, but we're still going to try uh, to catch as many as we can back here. So have these upgraded? Yeah, these have upgraded. That one just did right before my eyes. All right, so we're going to upgrade that. You're not going to be able to hit anything. I don't have enough mana. Eh, of course I don't. Well, that's going to catch stuff from up top. These, You know what? These levels are really short, which I think is just... Is catching me off guard because I've been used to playing levels that have been, you know, 100 waves long or more. Okay, this one can upgrade, but I'm not going to do it until... Yeah, those are past. Come on. Yeah, these recharge in their sockets really fast. I'm kind of surprised. Alright, we want to do a combo here, I think. Alright, it's still Q. Speed it up. Take him out, take him out, take him out. There we go. Oh, I don't have enough? It's 240. Do I not regen passively? I mean, I guess I do, but not very much. Interesting. I'm still getting the feel of the layout. Enraging gem slot. Insert gem to enrage all incoming waves. That's really nice. Oh, we just got a talisman fragment. Okay, that's going to be... Uh, a little bit of a tutorial there. It's going to require a bit of a tutorial. You can still call them early. But I like the fact that you can drop a gem in here to just enrage all of the waves. That's really nice. Wow. That's really, really nice. Okay. Can we get at least a, like a level up or something here? That'd be really nice. All right. What does this do? Plus 6% six damage, 6 damage to buildings. Not fantastic, but I mean, we have something. Find a talisman fragment. Back to map. We don't have anything to upgrade, though, do we? Probably not. We have skills. Oh, we can upgrade them. All right. Well, I'm just going to put one into each. That way we're starting with a little bit more. Talisman. Okay. Oh! I get it. I get it now. I didn't completely understand earlier, but I do now. So what this is is they just have little rectangles. It doesn't matter what individual piece you put in a rectangle as long as the pieces fit together. And I wonder if certain pieces have like, modifies the thing to your left, upgrades your thing to your left, or upgrades your thing above it, or something stupid like that. It's not stupid, but I'm saying, I would hope so. It would be stupid if they didn't have something like that. Change fragment shape. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm not going to upgrade that yet because it's damage to buildings. And I don't think we've even seen buildings yet. Oh, also, I like how it's blue. I wonder if it gets darker blue. Maybe it gets green or something as you go along. All right, so this is slowing and uh, mana leeching that we have. But I guess every gem now is not only blood bound, but also pool bound. It has to be, right? Oh, we're going to have to build some towers. Okay. What is that? Drop gem bombs to release three times more gem wasps. Gem wasps follow your pointer. Ugh, beautiful. I've actually been wanting that for a really long time, so don't make fun of me. Like, that's actually been something that I've been really wanting. Okay, you can still click on a tower or a trap and have the gem kind of, the first one in your inventory auto place. That's nice. We're going to want to build another tower here as soon as we have enough cash. 1,200 mana is what it's going to take. This tower should be able to take out mostly everything. For now. 
And then it's going to rack up hits, which is going to be nice. Now, I wonder if the upgrades also affect the specials for these. I guess we'll see in just a second. So 18% slower for three seconds. No. Only uh, uh, increases the damage. Okay, that's good to know, though. All right. We're going to drop this down. Do I want to drop it here? Because that's more mana gain. Yeah, let's let's do it there. Oh, wow. It automatically keeps you in building mode. Don't know how I feel about that. That's fine, though. And this is only half, uh, <laughs> half of one point of mana per hit. I mean, I guess it's not worthless, but it's not great. What is that? It takes almost 600 to upgrade. Actually, it did take 600 to upgrade last time. So we have decreased the cost ever so slightly by two whole mana. And also, if you're wondering, yes, this is a tower defense game. If you can't tell. All right. This boy just upgraded. This is a tower defense game at its core. And you know what? I think most of the elements you'll see in this are a tower defense game. Now, what if I put not that one, but it modifies all the ones after? I see. Okay. Good to know. The range on this thing is pretty incre uh, incredible, too. Let's upgrade this, and then we'll get ready to combine it in just a second. Yeah. Also, I like the the tone of this. This was a little bit paler orange last time. I like the deeper orange color. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm liking everything I see. That's all I have to say. All right, and then let's drop this here. And they, they follow my cursor. Do I have to click? Get him to oh my gosh that sound is so intense it's so intense what the heck i don't think that really got me anything uh, but now i can say I at least dropped the gem bomb and got the wasps out of that warmth spell deliver 75 one hit kills all right let's speed things along here so you guys don't get bored i know that this is it gets tedious after a while because all you're seeing is just Things get absolutely splattered all over the ground here. I'm liking the effects so far, too. We didn't quite make it to level two. But that's it's good that we've gotten to that point. What? This is a new token shape. Back to the map. That's a new token shape. Wait, but we didn't... Has a locked wizard stash in trial mode. Okay. How do we get to trial mode? That's a good question. All right, I'm gonna upgrade each one of these to three. Yeah, looks good. Okay. We just have that. Why do I feel like something's gonna punch through these walls here in like a quick sec? So this is just a tutorial on walls. There are barricades. And then there are regular walls. I want them to follow this path. I don't want them to come in a straight shot. Why do they say hit points? Is that something we have to fire on? Or is that something that monsters are going to attack? I guess we're just gonna, ha we're just gonna have to see at this point. And there are two different types of walls, too. What walls do I build? I don't know. I don't want to waste. Megalithic wall, shrub, boulder wall. Okay. Stop. Stop. Get out of there. These must be megalithic walls. Those are boulder walls. And then shrub walls. I don't even know. Also, these towers are different colors. That's kind of dope. Like, kind of dope. Are they going to go for those? No. Yes? No. Oh my gosh. Yo, your pathfinding whacked me out for a second. All right. These are not hit one hit KOs. Am I concerned? Not immediately. Could it be concerning for the future? Yes. Let's hope they die. Wait, are you going to die? Oh yeah, select the monster. He is not going to die. So we need at least one more gem. Let's just throw you up there. 
That should be a one-hit KO. There we go. Well, not a one-hit KO, but a KO nonetheless. All right. So this is just going to ensure that they're poisoned since they get to this point. Yeah, you can tell that these shapes are higher resolution, too. Like, just looking at them on my monitor, you can definitely tell. Because the other ones looked fuzzy around the edges. These look crisp. Yeah, everything, I think, was like a 17 by 17 tile before. I think it's like a, I think it's a lot bigger than that now. I think it's a 36 by 36 or some ridiculous size like that. Which I say ridiculous size, and you're like, okay, it's 36 pixels by 36 pixels. But the important thing is, it's a lot bigger than it was before. All right. We might have some problems here, because these homies aren't even poisoned. All right. Let's, let's drop a green level two right there. Then we'll upgrade some of these as we go along. Yeah, okay. Come on. Please just take care of them. There we go. We just have to make sure they're poisoned at every step of the way. That way we have constant damage on them. Also, these models, these monster models are different. They're probably like outlined from the old ones, but all in all, I think they're different. I don't remember having a one color of the body and then another color of the arms. Usually they're pretty similar colors. At least in Chasing Shadows they were. Also, do we have these force maximum done? I wonder if this is capped at 60 frames per second. I hope not. Whoa, 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 whoa. These waves are linked. Interesting. I kind of like that, that, that they're linked. That's a cool uh, new thing that we're seeing. I don't know, I'm, I'm like trying to take it all in. First of all, these maps are new, which I didn't expect any less from, from uh, this developer. I would hope that the maps are new. Also, as soon as this big chunk passes, we're gonna upgrade, giving us a little bit more range, a little bit more firepower. More poison, really, is what I'm going for. Also, I think it's ridiculous because my poison at level 3 uh, in uh, Chasing Shadows, on my good accounts, that is, my, my good saves, is like 400, 500, <laughs> you know? So even if you're not doing that much damage, you're going to kill them with the poison anyway. I wondered also... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, it's the same targeting as last time, too. You can right-click on a gem, and you can change the targeting priority of a gem. All right, we're going to upgrade that, too, because I have a feeling that these guys are going to plow through our defenses otherwise. Yeah, these barricades, though, I guess we can't build them. These aren't something that we can build. Yeah, there are a lot of monsters in this last wave. I'm glad I upgraded everything. Just a bunch of level ones would not have cut it. All right, another talisman fragment. That's good. Are we even going to hit level two of our mana pool? And the way that you hit new levels is just by having more mana. Oh, that's funny. Win a battle using only green and poison gems. Yeah. Okay, so we got another map tile as well. And that's S1 for the map tile. Um... I wonder, okay, I guess they can. there can only be 26 of these, but I'm thinking there has to be more because there were only like four in that first one. Maybe doing some others uh, will give me more. This is just 10 initial mana. You know what? It doesn't seem like a lot, but I will definitely take it. Yeah, navigating the map. I figured it's the same controls as the last time. You can either use mouse or uh, WASD. So this, I just want them to fit together. I just want them to be nice. We don't get anything for fitting them together, huh? I do want to upgrade that. Well, upgrade each of these. No, not that one. This has like slashes across it. That's kind of weird. I guess if they don't have anything, it's just mana, just a straight mana upgrade. Uh, 25, I think is fine. I don't really feel like using all of our orbs or whatever they're called. All right. 
we only have well here let's do another set of upgrades for those so we only have mana leeching and slowing for this one too i have no idea how long i want this episode to be i'm probably just gonna play i'm just really excited because the developer said that this may not even be out today oh wait a second oh all right check this out as long as we start with one you can duplicate it which is fantastic it's exactly what we want Actually, let's put a slowing in front, a poison, and then, yeah. Yeah, boy. Oh, and then we'll put that up there, too. As long as we don't destroy these, we're fine. So this is 0.7 mana per hit. I think the one we want to upgrade first is this green one, honestly. Because we don't have any towers. Actually, let me get a tower we'll just get one there um and this can be no this can just be a slowing one i didn't think we could upgrade it now we can but, you know it's not that important so you'll notice in the traps too they do so little damage so little damage but they shoot faster what does it say yeah plus 80 to specials 200 percent firing speed ignores armor automatically that's nice uh, it wasn't like that before. It didn't used to ignore armor. But then it's also minus 80% to damage. So let's hope when they're getting hit by this poison. Yeah, 33 HP. So that guy's toast. We would like for most of our damage to be done in these traps. But it's fine. Actually, also having a tower over here would be nice. Because it could attack that, uh, that monster nest. Whenever it's not doing anything else. Um, I don't know which one of these is going to have higher damage. Well, let's see if we can get that maybe to two. And then we'll uh, work on it. I'll probably do a mana leeching gem. It won't pay for itself, but it'll at least help recoup some of the cost. I'm going to wait till we get to level two. As well. Alright, there we go. So it's maxed out. So when you shift that all the way up, it maxes out at whatever it can do highest all right we really don't want this guy getting to our orb but i just want to see if we get an achievement for it if we get an achievement for it i mean it's kind of worth it wasn't worth it was not worth it i repeat was not worth it um all right we're still kind of back up all right select a building you can't even see the building that's just peachy um what else can we upgrade here probably not much let's upgrade this blue gem just because it's going to give us a little bit of backup here. All right, he hasn't even gotten his first blood uh, like bloodbound like upgrade. That would be a nice second upgrade there. Have a grade 1 gem with 100 hits. It's probably these trapped ones here. Warming up. Yeah, until I get some OP uh skills, I really don't feel like pushing these waves too much i'm just gonna let them come in their own time but i do want to go back and hit that other one in trial mode and just see you know if i can get through it in trial mode be nice to know all right let's see if this will upgrade in time to hit that guy no but hit those two so let's target you each of those should die in one hit. Yeah, nice. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I, I'm liking the setup. I'm getting accustomed to the setup, I think I should say, uh, of this whole thing. The traps, they have a hard edge there. I think that edge in the upper left-hand corner can be softened. If I would make one suggestion so far as to the aesthetics of this. Also, it freaks me out that everything looks so hard. Like They're very hard lines. I think I'm just used to the softer lines of the lower resolution stuff. I like how the battlefields can be bigger now. That is definitely something I'm excited about because this just gives so much more space. All right, I guess we just got something for ensnared. Um, let's level these two guys up. As nice as it would be to be at level two, I don't think we're gonna hit it by the time we finish the game. Finish this field, I mean. 
Yeah, so these guys are going to be sufficiently pulverized by the time they get to there. Yeah, I thought only only a couple of them would really need some coaxing to die at that point. Uh, those two may prove tricky. Uh, ne never mind. Never mind. I was wrong. They were just as easy as the other ones. I like putting the blue gems here first, the slowing gems, because then these guys have a chance to hit them more as they go through. Now, it's only 18% slower, but uh, I don't know what you really expect. Come on, die. There we go. Dusted. All right. Take a look at this stuff. We have two new field tokens. I think I'm going to... We'll do. We'll go for another couple of rounds. So, this unlocks talisman slots as well. So, if we go back to the map, um, I want to take a look at the talisman tab here. I like that they sped those animations up. Click on a previously done field token. I'm going to click on that one, I mean, if we're we're doing that in trial mode let's go to our talismans here just for a sec 200 shadow cores 300 400 500 so that'll be the first one that we unlock obviously interesting very interesting i i like it i'm liking it so far i think that this gives a little bit more challenge to uh dealing with your talisman yeah let's do it's a wizard stash, wizard stash. Endurance mode. Oh, wait, this also has something in trial mode. Let's do this one. I mean, let's do that, I guess. Endurance mode. I don't have any battle traits. There are more battle traits, are there? It looks like it. Uh, trial mode. Let's start. I'm probably going to get absolutely screwed over by this. <laughs> if I'm being honest. Um, I guess it really doesn't matter. This is just a test of your skill. Okay. Fire with gems or drop gem bombs to destroy. I only have enough for one right now. I want to have to start here, even though that's not going to hit anything. So let me do another one, probably right there. Oh. No, this is probably gonna maximize the amount of monsters that I can hit with this. Also, I hope this is coming out good in the recording. I've never recorded this game before. This is a brand new game, it was just released 45 minutes ago or some stupid thing like that. Oh my gosh. This is just hit points. I thought it was hits. This should be fine. We should be fine. I want to put that there because we, uh, we're we going to need some backup. Uh, I get that feeling. Come on, please hit. Please hit. Please hit. If you don't hit. If you don't hit. Ah, uh, come on. All right. Let's drop some of these. Let's bomb them. And then gem wasps. I kind of need you to follow my cursor here. There we go. So, dusted you. Dusted you. All right. Perfect. We're fine. We've got this. I'm glad it's not hits. I'm glad it's hit points. I'd be kind of upset if it was, you know, hit points. Or just hits, sorry. Not hit points. Um, let's also throw another bomb in the midst of you guys. Yeah, I didn't think it would kill all of you. But there shouldn't be any armor. These hits should just land. Ah, uh, man, we're going to need another, another one right here. Let's bomb this boy up. I'll hit those guys. Yeah, okay, nice. So will these guys follow my cursor? Do they actually follow my cursor? My cursor's up here, bros. Broskies. They don't really like following it. Do I have to click? Do I have to, like, what do I have to do? I'm just gonna bring them up here. <laughs> just gently lead them up here so they can uh, hit a couple of things. Okay, skill tome. That's great. Don't know if it's really gonna help me all that much, but uh, it's... Good that we at least have something coming out of this. There's <laughs> there's at least some value. Oh, gosh. There we go. We'll keep this one down here because I don't feel comfortable enough moving it back up. For the duration of this. Alright, you're done hitting things, so we're going to use you as a bomb. Alright, that works. Does it stun monsters? Yeah, it does. Just ever so slightly, it stuns them. 
All right, that's it. That was the round. And that was three skill points for doing a trial mode. That was actually really nice. Yeah, just straight up three skill points. Um, Orb of Presence. Skills panel. Okay, back to the map. Let's check out skills. I don't know what these mean then. I don't know. Um, banishment mana cost. Well, we're trying not to banish any monsters, but that is new. I'm pretty sure that's new, or maybe it was split from mana stream. It's quite possible. All right, we'll close that out. We'll do one more of these. We'll do this one in trial mode start the battle and then we'll conclude the episode here i did have errands to run but i think i'm just gonna get a a late breakfast and then post this 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 will be the video for today i'll post this around noon probably um oh yeah quick gem socketing i know that one already so that has an armor level as well so we're probably gonna want our tower right around here we can do two towers let's do two towers and then let's oh can i do any higher than that Let's do that. So this one's going to be here. That one's going to be up there. We can always upgrade that one later. And we are starting at 250. So I'm, I'm fine with that. This has an armor level. So each one of these is only doing like two or three damage. Which kind of sucks. I don't want to prioritize this to be a... Uh... Man, come on. We're already falling behind here. I don't want to prioritize this being a structure... I think that's really not going to help me. Actually, I'll leave those gem wasps there. I wonder how long they last for. Maybe just for an infinitely long amount of time. And if I want gem wasps, geez, I should drop them on that. Get nine out of one. All right, we're going to upgrade you. Because you're not doing enough good work for us. Okay. I need you to keep doing some good work. Now we need, oh gosh, 600. Because it has a mana value of 360. And then you also have this 240 cost of just straight upgrading it, you know. Um, would be nice if we had traps to slow things down. Each one of these is a one-hit KO. I'd rather have one-hit KOs than traps to slow them down. Okay, it looks like our gem wasps did kind of fade away there. But it's nice we're getting close to that 600 level or 600 mana value and we're just gonna go back down again because we're gonna have to kill all these buggers all right gem wasps do your thing all right they did not do their thing well enough we're gonna bomb this try to get these guys down here come on come on come on come on come on get down get down get down get down no all right well they're gonna be banished in the meantime, though, it would be really nice if we could just kind of get you guys down here. Yeah. Stay right there. Don't move. I'm mad now. Uh, and these last two come as a pair. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this, if I'm being completely honest. I think we need this to, to focus on that. Hopefully these gem wasps... Wait, do these recover? Mm, yes? No? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, no, no, no. You got to take care of those. Maybe we're not ready for this. Maybe we're we're not ready. Um, I'm going to bomb that. And then you. There we go. Take care of. Okay. That took care of some of them. Deal 50 gem wasp stings. Well, you know what I can do? Let's do that. Maybe this will be able to punch through a little bit harder. Ah, oh, it broke. Never mind. I'm an idiot. Restart the battle. Restart. Restart. Just come on. Restart it. Please. Please. All right. So what we're going to do is we're just going to focus a tower right here. And we are going to max this out with whatever we have. Um, so we're going to start with that right there. And I'm going to make another level two. We don't have enough for a tower, but we will have enough for a tower once this gets some hits in. Hits in on monsters, that is. Yeah, this definitely can't balance that well. Uh, 
All right, we're gonna throw a tower up here right now. Do that, and then let's drop a gem bomb. Car. Try to get these wasps down this way. Come on, come down. There we go. <laughs> Nail them. And then as soon as we can make a level two of, uh, I don't know, anything really. We're trying really hard not to have them get past the fences. It says they follow your cursor, but I don't know if they follow your cursor just like randomly, if they have to be within a range. I'm not sure. I just don't know. All right, what is a level two mana cost? Can we see what a level two mana, well, 360, okay. We're getting close. We're not there yet, but we're getting close. Man, I'm really missing, like, like <laughs> armor tearing. Okay. Let's do you, and then we'll, we will be able to combine it once we hit 240. I just don't want to sacrifice that one up there just yet. Because we're going to have some problems if we, if we have to sacrifice it. All right, my gem wasps are gone. I think we're probably going to have to make another one of these bomb you. Alright, can you guys kill that one? I believed in you. Oh my gosh. Alright. Combine these. Do it. And you just fire away at that. Man, this armor level is killing me. We should be able to do this. We have, well, three waves left, technically. But really not that much HP on this wizard stash. I think we just needed to be patient. I think that's what they were trying to teach us here. All right, it was just a talisman fragment? Are you kidding me? I was expecting, like, a skill or something, you know? Anything, really. Um, can we upgrade you? Not yet. We can duplicate you, but we can't upgrade you. be really nice to get an upgrade here very soon please because what I'm having to do now is just oh man, it didn't want to it didn't want to do that well I at least have it now um, bomb this here and bring these guys down come on, down 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 come down come down there we go yeah yes thank you what I need to see. All right. Well, I didn't really need that anyway. I'm just going to bomb him. Wait for this. And those should take care of you. Oh my gosh. They don't take care of you. Jeez. Die. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right. What are we getting here? Oh, another three skill points, which is nice. Plus 19 initial mana. Back to the map. Where can we even put you? I mean, we should be fine. As long as they fit, right? Huh. All right. Well, I mean, I think that's it for this episode. I just wanted to see because I was curious, you know? Um, this is a rarity nine. Let's freaking upgrade it, dude. These are very cleverly designed. The locks on these are very cleverly designed. So we need 200 shadow cores just to get an extra one. Again, I like that it adds a little bit more difficulty to specking out your talisman. I actually like it a lot. Anyway, I'm going to end this episode here. Uh, sorry about the longer episode. And I know my microphone isn't pointing at my face exactly. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed. I will be doing more of this. I hope to post this today. Uh, i got to trim it up a little bit, edit it. Uh, make sure the audio is fine because I didn't even set anything up. I literally came down, downloaded the game, started playing and recording. Uh, but anyway, thank you so much. Again, make sure you leave a like on this video if this is something that's interesting. Again, there are so many more aspects of this that I've seen in the developer's notes that I haven't gotten to encounter yet in the game. So uh, just, yeah, leave a like, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.